through absolute martinis up another doers rocks I don't think we're going to run the table. That's what I you're asking. It's not. I know. Deep background. I'm not going to come close to using your name. <laughs> you're not going to come close to getting a quote either. Why are we sitting here? You sat down. Is Josh on his way out? No. Is he? No. I know he's your friend. He is. Did Caldwell Billy, say... I'm not talking about this. Who do I call? No one. Just tell me who to call. Oh, you could call 1-800-BITE-ME. Sam. He's not going anywhere, Billy. It's a non-story. Okay. You're lying now, aren't you? That hurts, Billy. Why would I lie to a journalist of all people? Why do you keep looking over my shoulder? Why? Yes. Because Alger Hiss just walked in with my secret pumpkin. What? There's a woman over there. I think she's looking at me. Really? I don't know. I never know if they're looking or not. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I think she was. I want to thank you for the casual way that you did that just now. She probably didn't notice that. Also in the news this morning, 25 cars jumped the tracks, spilling 20,000 gallons of sodium hydroxide. That's 17 across is wrong. It's just wrong. You believe that, Ruth? You should call them. I will call them. Telephone, I'm in the shower. It's POTUS. Yeah. You can have a normal life. You'd be amazed at how normal I can be. See, it's all about budgeting your time. This time, this hour, this is my time. 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I can work out, as you see. I can think about personal matters. I can meet an interesting man. The trick is... Your beeper's going. What? I think your beeper's going. Yeah, this is Josh Lyman. What's going on? We ask at this time that you turn off all electronic devices, stow your tray table, and return your seat backs to the full and upright position. We will be landing shortly at Washington Dallas Airport. Sir, I need you to turn off your computer. You're just about done. I need you to turn off your laptop, sir. It interferes with our navigational systems. You know when you guys say that, it sounds pretty ridiculous to most people, right? Sir? Mr. Ziegler? A message was just patched up to the cockpit for you. I'm not sure I've got it right. POTUS in a bicycle accident? You got it right. You can't use your phone until we land, sir. We're flying in a Lockheed Eagle Series L-1011. Came off the line 20 months ago. Carries a SIM-5 transponder tracking system. Are you telling me I can still flummox this thing with something I bought at Radio Shack? You can call when we land, sir. Also, I never got my peanuts. How you doing, Sam? Let me tell you something. The water pressure in here is really impressive. I know. You can run hydraulics in here. You want some? I'm fine. I'm wasted. And probably free of cataracts. I get that. That's funny. Thank you. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Your message, your pager went off while you were in the shower. I hit the button because I thought it was mine. POTUS in a bicycle accident. Come to the office. I memorized it just in case I raced it by accident. These things look exactly alike. Anyway, like I said, I'm totally baked. But, um, though it's not like I'm a drug person. I just love pot. Uh, Lori, I have to go. You're kidding me. It's 5.30 in the morning. I know this doesn't look good. Not that good, no. But you know what? I really like you. And if you give me your number, I'd like to call you. Stay right here. Save yourself a call. It's not that I don't see the logic in that, but I really got to go. Because POTUS was in a bicycle accident? Yep. Tell your friend POTUS he's got a funny name and he should learn how to ride a bicycle. I would, but he's not my friend, he's my boss. It's not his name, it's his title. POTUS? President of the United States. I'll call you. 